Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. We're back with another patch summary in under five minutes. If you want to catch my full reaction to the whole stream, I'll be uploading that later in the day. So if you want to see the full thing, wait for that. But for now, we've got this patch summary in under five minutes. Let's get right into it. First of all, let's cover the two new characters coming into patch 2.3. First of all, we have Arataki Ito, the five star who is a Geo Claymore user who has a very unique playstyle centered around building up stacks of superlative strength and spending them with his charge attack. I'll be making a first impressions and an overview of his whole kit when he releases in patch 2.3. And the second new character coming is the 4 star Geo Bow user Goro the Good Boy who is going to be on Arataki Ito's banner and Goro is looking to have a pretty cool and unique synergy with a bunch of other Geo characters as his elemental burst seems to have a very unique effect in needing Geo characters to function on the team. But more on that when he releases in a first impressions video in patch 2.3. Going over to the banners, phase one will be two different five star character banners of Albedo and Eula. This is a new system that they are adding where there will be two character banners. This is mainly to alleviate the rerun problem, which we are currently having with there being a lot of characters that need a rerun. So Albedo and Eula will be phase one, whilst in phase two we will be getting our five star character Arataki Ito alongside the four star character Goro on one banner. We're also getting a bunch of story content in terms of a quest for Mr. Arataki Ito himself and as well two new hangout events for Goro and Beidou. I myself am excited for Beidou's the most because she's a very cool character. Now obviously with a new five star character we are getting a new five star weapon the Red Horn Stone Thresher and alongside those we are getting two new artifacts sets the Husk of Opulent Dreams which will be catered towards defense characters and Ocean Hued Clam which will be catered towards healing characters like Sanganami Kokomi. You can pause the video and read these at your own discretion but I shall be reading these in a different video. And on top of a new five star character we're also getting a new boss to farm character materials with. We are getting the golden wolfhound or golden rifthound whatever it's really called. It's a golden wolf that flies and it looks amazing. I'm excited to make my boss guide on this because it looks like it's going to have actual mechanics but this is going to be a new boss in Surumi Island. So look forward to that. Now in terms of events, there's going to be one major, major event in 2.3, Shadows Amidst Snowstorms, which is going to reward us with a new four-star Refinement 5 weapon, the Cinnabar Spindle. Sadly, they did not reveal what it does, but it looks amazing and I'm excited to get it. As long, along with that, we're also getting Primo Gems, Crowns, Talent Books, and some cosmetic teapot items like snowmen and Christmas decorations. The second event, maybe major event, is the Bantan Sango Case Files, The Warrior Dog, which looks absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. This is not a major event, but looks a bit more minor than the other one, where you'll have to stealth around an area being guarded by some samurai dogs. It looks absolutely phenomenal in my opinion, and I'm really excited to see this one but it looks a fair bit skill-based, so definitely be wary about it. From this one, you'll just get some basic rewards of Primo Gems and other kind of character enhancement materials. And on top of those two definitely new events, we're having a few events that are being rerun. So first we have the Energy Amplificator Fruition event, which is similar to an event a while back from Liyue. We're also having the Misty Dungeon Realm of Light, which is similar to an event that happened a while back where we get given predetermined characters to explore a ruin and do a fair few tasks, getting different rewards. This one is also being rerun, just remodeled with different characters and a bit more of a different goal. And finally, we are having the most marvelous merchant come back with marvelous merchant dice in an event where we have to give him items for him to give us items in this very cool elemental chest looking event. Can't wait for this one as I've always enjoyed this one getting free rewards on a daily basis. I'll be making event guide videos as the events come out, so stay tuned for those. And the final bit of news is the Paimon move-in function where you'll now be able to place Paimon in your Serena teapot for God knows whatever reason, but it's being added and it looks pretty cool. And that's been patch 2.3 summarized in under five minutes, I hope. It might be slightly longer, but it's been summarized nonetheless. 
like I said at the start, if you want to catch my full reaction to it, I'll be uploading that later in the day, so stay tuned for that. And as for all the specific details on all the parts that I've mentioned today, I'll be covering them as they release in the future patch. All the redemption codes will be down in the description for you to copy paste into your redeem section of your account. And like the video guys if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more content, and ring the bell to stay notified of when I upload next. Stay hydrated guys, and stay safe. I'll catch you in the next video, and peace out.